Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a nail. I already uh, start up the screen key so you can see what I'm doing. We select the cube and pressing S, Z and we, to enlarge it. We go back to edit mode and we're going to use a selection tool. Vertices, we select one vertex, we switch from the visible to invisible and we press B to select all the points together. Now we press Alt M and save at the center. And we made a nice cone. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to shrink it completely. So we press A and say S to shrink it, although the nail will be too big. Like this. Could be that we have to shrink it later on also a little bit so we're going to add now mesh cylinder we're going to place it in the center to do that we move it up and say vertex zero 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 and we're going to shrink it a little bit now the important thing is we shrink it until the diameter on top is smaller than square and underneath we see the circle still always you see like this you have to see the circle underneath so in on top you have to see the square the circle has to be smaller now what we're going to do now is we're going to select a boolean and we're going to select by object the cube and we're going to make a difference Okay, we put apply now the cube. I don't need anymore, so I don't want to see it also in the rendering. Now we're going back to edit mode. We're going to select with face selection the face underneath. To do that, we switch off the invisible part. Okay, and we make it longer, much longer. This will be the top of the nail, the nail, sorry. So we switch on the invisible parts yeah, and we say, it's not, sorry, we, we don't switch the invisible parts on, we just say Alt M. Alt M, we say at the center. You, you just have to push it once, uh, it's because uh, my screen is not working together with me for the moment. So that's the reason why I touched it two times. Now, go back and we say face selection, select the top, and now we're going to enlarge the nail like that make it nice like this now we're going to add an extra thing which we're going to use later on we're going to say ez and only in z direction like that and now we're going to form the nail top and we're going to say again e in z direction z direction like that left mouse click and then press s we're going to open up like this diameter of the nail we're going to press e z again and this is the top of the needle the nail sorry okay now the last part over here we're going to use the command control r rotate six times until we have six Purple circles, one, two, three, four, five, six. Left mouse click and escape. Now we're going to use the face selection. We right click on that one, hold down the Alt button, and right click on that edge. We have selected one ring. We hold down the Shift button, and we're going to select with the right mouse key click the other three, like this. We press A, S. And we move it a little bit outside, not much. This is inside, outside, just a little bit, a tiny bit, like that. Okay, this is done. Should look okay now. Good. Now we want these edges to be perfectly. To do that, we use the command control R again, and we bring, position it over there. Click once and bring it closer. Same on underneath. Do the same over here, do the same over here, same over here, and 
the same over here. The same underneath. Okay. And the same over there. The same over there. And the same over there. Now we smoothen it. Good. Object mode, we smoothen it. Okay, we're going to give it a nice color, which I'm going to call gray. It's one. going to position the camera, right click on the camera, zero on the screen, lock the camera to view, and we're going to bring down the nail, we're going to position it just in front of us. You can like it like this, or you can say, I'll turn it 90 degrees. When it is done, you look off the camera, view, cursor on the screen, zero on the key path. And when the camera is positioned, we're going to switch the lights off. Uh, on, sorry, but we're going to position them. Some one is over here. We're going to use the second one, it's control D, and we're going to put the other one underneath. Okay, like that. Good. Now I want to switch off the shadow also. I don't want to see any shadow. And later on, I won't see put the plane behind. And we're going to add a mesh plane, which I'm going to rotate in Y direction, 90 degrees. Okay, I'm going to position it somewhere over here, just behind the nail. Switch off the shadow. Yeah. We're going to have a look what the rendering looks like. Pay attention that you choose the right format. Edit render. And in here you have your nail. If you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.